All right, hey everybody, welcome back. This is J.D. Olson with the Martial Arts Association and Kichi Dojo Martial Arts Released. And so today we have for you guys an Aikido video again. And so I have my man Sensei Garrett coming to help me out. And so what we're going to do is we're going to do Kodagashi and Gokyo. And we're going to show you guys how to link these moves together. So we're going to start with each of the individual techniques. Then we're going to do it off of a, we're going to do off of a wrist grab, off of a shoulder grab, off of a punch, and then off of a chop. And then I'm also going to show you how to link the moves together from one to the other and back and forth. Uh, how are you doing, Sensei Garrett? Fine, how are you? All right, so you're going to grab my wrist. Again, I totally understand this is not how a fight goes down. We just need a frame of reference to know how to start the move. Think of it like when you're in school and you learn how to do your alphabet with the little paper that already has the letters pre-written. You're learning how to do the letters. And then over time, you don't need that paper and stuff anymore. So when he grabs my wrist, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to slide down his arm with my thumb coming to the back of his hand. My thumb is going to secure the back here. My three fingers are going to lock on to the, what we call the thumb pad from here. And I'm going to rotate my arm out. You see I have the wrist lock, a.k.a. Kodagashi, the wrist turn out. And then from there, I'm going to leave him right there for a second. I'm going to take a quarter step into a, uh, towards my back and he is going to fall over his wrist or his shoulder right there. Okay, so we were here. I came down. Here's where I got the joint lock. And now from here, and then that's where he falls down with his side break fall. Which is why we always preach, make sure you do your side break falls. So, I come down. Here I go. Grab, again, three fingers on the back of the hand pad. Thumb, I try to line up with the middle knuckle as best I can. As I circle, that rotation happens automatically. I'm not trying to kill him today. So, one more time, each side. Here I go. And then, come down, get that thumb pad, circle out. All right, so that's the technique called Kodagashi. Second technique is going to be called Gokyo. So he grabs the wrist. This time, I'm going to circle my palm. Think of it like you're going to wave to yourself. That's how I actually use this in my memory. From there, my other hand comes like I was going to wave to him. So wave to me, wave to him. Right. So I come underneath. I grab his thumb pad. From there, I twist a little bit as I rotate my wrist out, and I step back. And this is all I need for Gokyo. I could kick him in the face, chop him in the back of the neck if you did some kind of karate or something. That's all you need. It's pretty simple. Okay? So he grabs, I rotate, come underneath, and there it is. But this step is actually important. We do the other side. So I turn here, come underneath, and I step back. Switch directions, or switch sides, I should say. So here. Just like that. One more time. All right, so now let's talk off of uh, a punch, because that's going to be pretty common. So traditional Aikido does just like old school karate and Taekwondo, where it's just a single punch. I'm going to show you this, and then we're going to get into more of a boxing, a realistic kind of punch system, because this isn't realistic. So when he throws that punch, the first one, if I say I do Gokyo first, I just circled around okay so I'm in my what's called Kamai or posture he throws that punch I would circle it out and get my Gokyo okay if uh what's the sight sorry so again I'm in my Kamai he throws that punch again I'm gonna move off the line I'm not gonna stay where I was my other hand's gonna be palm up right here I circle 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 reach over the top circle circle I go here, and at that point would be where I would have stepped back. So again, let's look at that one more time. There's that. Now, from that same punch concept, let's talk Kodagashi. Kodagashi, to be more realistic, has to have a little bit more movement, and that's okay. You notice when he punches, I'm going to sidestep a little bit. I'm going to get out of the line of fire, and then I'm going to re-rotate back to face him. By doing that, I'm going to let go of your arm for a second. I'm going to take this leg that's closest to him and circle kind of to face him. In that process, he's going to fly over his own arm. So I was here. As I rotate, 
that's when he gets, go, gets thrown. Okay, if I'm in my posture, if he's going to throw his other hand because he's on that side, I would have to do the same thing. I just move and then cut the corner the other way. Okay, let's switch sides. So, I'm in my posture. It doesn't matter what lead, you should be able to train both leads. So if I'm here, what punch you want to throw, he throws it. I move out of the way. I'm no longer in the line of fire of that punch. Then I recut to make him fall down. All right, so like I said, that isn't realistic, totally get it. So we're gonna base it on a jab cross kind of concept, okay? Now, I don't care who you are, you're not gonna catch punches. Uh, so understand, even if he's jab crossing, I'm not gonna track and catch that second punch. Aikido is kind of based on anger, okay? It's meant to be that committed attack. And this, they're not committed yet, okay? It's gonna be that, I am so mad at you. That's the punch we're looking for, okay? So understand that going in, that it isn't gonna just be like, he throws that punch, wah! <laughs> it's not gonna happen. So I have to kind of bait, and I'm like, Perry, and that's what I wanted. That second one that came a little bit closer, okay? So understand that. So maybe I deflect, then I go, oh, missed it. So one, two, I shift, and then I cut the corner. So we're in our boxing stance again. One, two, I shift, and I cut the corner. I like how you try to grab me to hold on. All right, so I'm gonna let him switch his lead. Okay, so he wants to be in his right lead to throw punches, that's fine. Again, I, I can deal with that. So I parry the jab, I go over the cross, I miss it, I kick him. <laughs> so one, two, I got it. There, now I cut. All right, let's do one last concept. Uh, oh, I said two, all right, sorry. Let's do our last two concepts. Simple. He's gonna put his hands on my shoulder. Maybe he's angry. It could even be where someone's like, how dare you? And I'm like, hey man, sorry. So, go kill first, because I think it's the harder of the two when it comes to this. So when I do go kill, I'm gonna kind of come across my body, and I'm gonna knock his arm around. From there, you secure the grip, and then everything you did before. If I have any say in this, I will always be in a Kamai or a lead. I will have a posture. So when that happens, I have something to base this on. Okay? Other side really quick. So they can see it from their side here. Chop it up. At that point I'm grabbing, and you see when I grab that, I put his arm upside down. The secondary hand comes in, secures. Okay? That probably wouldn't be my go-to move if someone grabbed me, whereas this next one, Kodagashi, is a little bit more realistic. So, again, he puts his hands on me. How dare you put your hands on me? And so what I'm going to do is this hand's going to come to the outside. This is what we call the inside. This is to the outside. As I do this, I rotate my shoulder and I trap his arm. Then I cut that corner back again. I simply take this here and I rotate my body. Now I'm facing him and I'm not here for very long. I know I'm pausing for camera effect but I would immediately cut right back, okay? If he happened to grab cross side, it's even better. Think of it as a hook punch to the face as I secure and I cut back. All right, so to finish off our last segment, he's gonna resist now, okay? If he grabs, okay, maybe I'm trying to do this and he's like, oh, no, you don't. Well, if he's fighting me this way, immediately I cut the other direction, okay? So let's look at that again. I get ready to go here. He's like, nope. So then go the other direction. Most of us, if, if I even, I'm way bigger than him, if he tries to do a wrist lock on me, like let's say he's going to do the exact same move, when he goes through that and I fight him, my energy is fighting the other direction, which puts me in danger of going the wrong way. So that's just going to be how it's going to work anyway. And then finally, if he's not letting me have the Gokyo, I go to Kodagashi. Okay? One more time. I'm trying to get my hand to go this way. He's just not. It just can't do it. He's pushing. So I go the other way. Thank you, Sensei Garrett. All right. So 
there you have several different ways to do what we call kodagashi and gokyo. So those are two, I think, core joint locks in the, in the Aikido system. If you like this video, do me a favor, hit that like button. You know what to do, go ahead and smash that subscribe button, it really helps out the YouTube algorithm and our channel. And then finally hit that bell icon to, so you know when the next video is coming out from all of us here at Kishi Dojo and Martial Arts Unleashed. You guys stay safe, keep training. This is JD and I'm out. Thank you.